this is Michael with Blurry Pixel and I'll be showing you a quick tutorial on how to create a position and normal pass from Cinema 4D and then use those passes in After Effects with the Pixel Cloud plugin to relight an image. This tutorial will need you to first install the Point Position plugin for Cinema 4D created by Michael Auerswald and can be obtained from aescripts.com. Okay, so after I've already installed the point position plugin, I'll open up Cinema 4D and I have my image here that I want to render. So to get started, I'll go up to Render, Render Settings, and then under the Save panel, enable that for our beauty image, and I will name it Head Beauty. You can choose anything for your uh, format, but in this case I'm going to go ahead and choose Targa. Enable the alpha channel. And under Compositing Project File, enable the save to uh, After Effects. And then include 3D data. Now after that, go back here and enable the Multipass function. And under the multi-pass button, choose Material Normal. Make sure that anti-aliasing is set to none. And go back to the Save tab. And then make sure that it's enabled to save your file. And give a name for that, your file, and name it Head Normal. And make sure it's an open EXR 32-bit def file. And that should be it for the uh, render settings. After you're done with that, go back to Render, Add to Render Queue. Here, I'll save this here. And then do a quick render there. And when that's, when that's done, go back to Render, your render settings. Switch off the multi-pass. Switch off the compositing project file save. And then click effect, point position. And then go back to the save panel and change that to head P pass. Make sure that the format is also an open EXR 32-bit channels. Save alpha channel and do the same thing. Go to render, add to render queue, save that, and do a render. Okay, now returning to After Effects, I can go ahead and import the .aec file. And in that file, we should open up to a project which includes a composition that has our beauty pass and a camera. In the project panel, we'll also find our normal pass. And I'll go ahead and import the position pass. Before I go any further, I need to reinterpret the footage on our EXR files. So I'll go ahead and right click on our position pass, go to interpret footage, main, and under the color management tab, select preserve RGB. And I'll do the same thing for the uh, normal pass. So right click, interpret footage, main, preserve RGB. I also need to make sure that we're working in a 32 bits per channel project. So I'll go ahead and change that to 32 bits per channel. And I can go ahead and drag my position pass and normal pass into the timeline and switch off the visibility on those. I also need to create a reference camera, so I'll do that by duplicating the camera, renaming it RefCam, dragging that to the bottom of the stack. Now I'm ready to apply the uh, pixel cloud effect. So I'll select my beauty pass in the timeline, go to effect, blurry pixel, pixel cloud, and under source layer, our beauty pass. For position pass, I'll select the position pass that we exported. And for normal pass, I'll select our normal layer. 
So now uh, you should start seeing our pixel cloud, but it needs to be adjusted. So twirl down the position pass adjustment and enable invert Y. I'll also do the same thing for the normal pass adjustment and I'll also check mark remap values. Now before I do anything with the pixel cloud I need to set a reference camera. Click the link reference camera button, choose ref cam and hit OK. Now you might see some gaps between the pixels. Uh, we can fix that simply by going to render mode and changing that to 2D relight. And when we need to visualize in 3D space, just switch back to the default none or one of the uh, lower resolution options like half, third, or quarter. I'll switch it back to none for now. Now to get started relighting, I can go ahead and create a new point light here. Make sure that it's white and the intensity is at 100%. I'll keep fall off at none and make sure that cast shadows is not enabled. I'll move that light to the origin of 0, 0, 0. And right now, you shouldn't be able to see anything because the light is within inside the pixel cloud, but if I move it outside, you should you should start to see it relighting our object. So I'll make a quick little animation here using that light, and if I change back to render mode, 2D relight, we are ready to make a final render, and there we go. That was a quick tutorial on how to export a position pass and a normal pass from Cinema 4D and use it with a Pixel Cloud plugin to relight an image in After Effects.